Okay, I'm looking at some of the log sheets that I keep. Henry Bryan keeps his blood sugars under tight control by carefully recording any ups and downs. So that when I went back in to see my doctor, we could look at what was transpiring and try to figure out ways to adapt my treatment plan to make things better. Actually, you have to tell me, are you going to have half a cup cooked or a whole cup full? High school pals Truett Stubbs and Bob McDonough are getting a refresher course on the impact of carbs and sodium on their type 2 diabetes. All three are using expert-approved ways to successfully manage their disease. Hello, Mr. Bryan. The one piece of advice I would give patients Good to see you. would be to stay connected. To seek diabetes education and to, and to do it in an ongoing fashion. Give the patient the tools that they need. Diabetes is a progressive disease. The tools that they need to reduce their risks of future complications. The ABCs of diabetes. A, hemoglobin A1C. It's a test that measures your average blood sugar over a two- to three-month period. Your goal for hemoglobin A1C should be less than 7. The higher the hemoglobin A1C, the higher your risk of diabetes complications. I was in range and in target 93% of the time, which is nearly perfect. Like Henry, you too can keep your A1C low by eating well, exercising, and checking your sugars regularly. B, blood pressure. Your blood pressure should be 130 over 80 or less. Having diabetes puts you at a twofold increase of having a heart attack or a stroke compared to someone who doesn't have it. It's only two grams of carb, but it has 1,320 milligrams of sodium in one tablespoon. Bob McDonough controls his high blood pressure with medication and by watching his intake of salt. Exercise is also key. Thank you for pointing that out. C, cholesterol. Bad cholesterol, uh, your target should really be less than 100. and some individuals, it should be less than 70. Why did you pick the turkey as opposed to ham or beef or something? I thought it was better for me. Mm -hmm. Truett Stubbs makes smart choices with the fatty foods in his diet and has perfect cholesterol. Stay away from that. Other tips, eat more mono and polyunsaturated fats and, of course, exercise. In fact, it's no surprise that D and E are the holy grail of diabetes management. If you have type 2 diabetes and you do lose a significant amount of weight, your diabetes might very well come under control with no other intervention besides healthy eating. Just doing you know, some kind of moderate exercise 30 minutes a day m makes a world of difference in diabetes and its management. They say you have to keep trying and, and if you mess up, just get back on your budget again. By following these simple ABCs, the message is clear. All diabetes can be managed. For WebMD, I'm Sandy Lamott. A tablespoon of sugar.